Okay guys, we've got a beautiful day. It's Mother's Day. And my mother passed away about 15 years ago. But uh, anyhow, it's Mother's Day. Today we're going to shoot our flagella tartar bow again. The uh, horse bows are pretty hard on strings. It's because they're rubbing up along here and in the bridge and of course you have where your arm is going to be rubbing down here but something that I do a little trick that I do is when I wax my string or or actually when I uh, go shooting every day I'll wax it here I'll take a little bit of wax and I'll just put it along here okay and that's going to cause it to to rub and uh, or when it does rub it's going to be lubricated and it won't be a problem okay so I lubricate it well inside the bridge and actually put it right on the siha another thing about these bows uh, you can get them without the horn if you get a bow like this without the horn they'll put a hardwood there and uh, the bow will actually shoot a little bit faster I would say because it will lighten up the siha just a little bit but anyhow that's all I do and then I just rub it in really good and uh, I'm ready to shoot but lubricate your siha it will help okay the uh, other thing that I'll tell you right now is uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today in the sense that I've often told you you know don't hold your bow and that's one technique right not to hold the bow some people will even have a strap around their arm or be letting them go and you can see when they shoot the bow actually falls out of their hand all these Olympic guys are really worried about holding the bow well I've always done that too, hold it fairly loosely but today we're not doing that we're going to grip the bow and we're going to put it on very positive okay so it doesn't have to be you know twist it but we're going to grip that bow that's the experiment for today. We'll just see how we do. Anyhow, let's go do some shooting. Be back in a minute. Okay, now we... Club has a uh, caribou down here at, at 30 yards. They were gripping our bow. We're holding it on like it was in a vice. Okay, so today we're gripping the bow like it's in a vise. I don't mean that we're really squeezing the bow, but we're not allowing it to slide around. We're holding it firmly and positively. We're not leaving our fingers open like this kind of thing so that the bow moves. We're not tying strings around our wrists so that we can let go of the bow. We're gripping it and we're being very positive okay so that's what it's all about today we're going to hold that bow on we're going to draw back we're going to rotate by our mouth get it straight and come straight back and uh, we'll practice that anyhow this one is is a, a few shots at at, at 30 yards and uh, see what we did here and there's our, our shots okay so they're all in the lungs or better anyhow grip the bow that's the experiment I'll be back in a minute yeah here you know enjoying mother nature and here's a an old stump you know kind of rotting and it's got fungus growing on it but you know 
it's really really wonderful stuff just enjoying nature beautiful I'll be back in a minute Oh guys, you know, nature is kind of wonderful. I get just tons and tons of these little blue flowers here. Very, very pretty place. It's uh, yeah. It's a lovely Mother's Day, and there's some a, a present from Mother Nature. Anyhow, I'll be back in a minute. Okay now, the club's got a uh, doe down here at, at 23 yards. You gotta stretch it out. Okay, so the thing that you can do is draw along the line of your mouth. You can hold that arrow at any angle and it should hit the target. But of course, that's strictly by pressure. But I find that the corner of the mouth and the eye are in a fair close line. So even though I don't use the mouth as an anchor, I can use it as a guide, you know, just sort of drag along it and it will get that line close to my eye. Of course back here I do the final correcting, but the mouth can be used as a guide, as a reference point, okay? And uh, when you're doing that you'll start to get some hits and let's see what we get down here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so we kind of got a tight little group up on our shoulder, but there it is. Okay then, have fun. I'll be back in a while. Okay, guys. The club has a dinosaur down here for our shooting pleasure. At uh, 24 yards. It's getting kind of nice. Nice and peaceful. Okay. There's a, a guy and uh, his name is Ken Wilhelm. There's a couple of movies that he's in around 1930 or 1935 or 1937 or something. Uh, he's holding a plate for Howard Hill. Howard Hill shoots the middle of it, but, but Ken is an excellent shot and uh, so is his brother. So uh, I want you to watch him. 
there's a show that he does where uh, you'll see he does this draw through the lip kind of a, a, a draw. He's just drawing and he does touch here but it's like boom, you know, boom. But he's still going here, boom. And uh, but he's extremely accurate doing this kind of stuff. So Ken Wilhelm and uh, oh, they're fabulous to watch. They they shoot cigarettes out of each other's mouths and and, and, and cufflinks off the guys head, each other's heads and stuff like that. But check him out, and uh, I think you'll appreciate uh, how good a longbow can be shot. And let's see if we can see what we did down here. Yes, uh, yeah, there's our. There's our hits. Okay. We'll be back. Have fun. Okay now. We've got a buck down here at 24 yards. Yep, I don't think that there are any easy shots. You gotta work for every one of them. Okay. There's a... There's a guy, I think his name is Armin Hermer. Uh, um, and he has a business called Malta Archery. If you type in Malta Archery, there's another guy that's pretty good and uh, shows people a lot of little tricks. He also shoots with a thumb ring and uh, does reviews and stuff, but seems like a pretty decent guy. So I like turning you on to people that uh, are going to help you out a little bit, you know? Uh, uh, so anyhow, a thing that I'm talking about today mostly is, yes, I have been holding that bow quite steady, quite firmly, and just holding it on, and it's working very well. So, again, hold it on, right on the center line. As you draw back and your arm is relaxing, when it gets to about here, you just line up your eye, drag it across the corner of your mouth, completely relaxed and back, and I mean relaxed, and uh, you should be pleasantly surprised how things work out, but yes, gripping the bow is not a bad thing. And uh, we'll see if we can catch any other stuff before the, the sun goes down, but doing stuff like that, and you know, you can get some reasonable hits. Okay? Okay, let's move on. I'll be back. Okay, now we've got a uh, black panther down here. It's getting pretty dark. And uh, it's 28 yards. Okay. Okay. So, he bit the dust. Yeah, it's uh it's dark enough, that's for sure. Um, white arrows are great, you know, when it starts getting dark. If you miss, you can find them. 
Even on a sunny day you can find them if you miss. But they really help you to line up very good. And uh, basically here, I'm just putting it on the line, drawing it back until it's just in front of my mouth. That's when I'm aiming. I'm relaxing, allowing everything to line up. I drag it past the corner of my mouth, come straight back, and go after it. Okay, so that's what we're doing, but I think that uh, we're going to have to call it a, a day. So we had a pretty good day shooting. Let's see if we can actually see what we've done here in the dark. Here. Okay, you can sort of see the white on the target. Anyhow, those are the hits. Well, have a good night, and I'll be talking to you later. Now this is a trillium. It's the uh, flower of Ontario, and pretty soon the woods would be full of them. It's got three little parts to its head, so uh, they call it a trillium. It's uh, kind of a neat little thing, so definitely spring. Hang on, I'll be back. Okay now, the club's got a, a red fox down here at, at 19 yards. Just because the target's close doesn't make it easy. Sort of on the on the center line, a couple are together at the top and one's at the bottom. Uh, again, I've started to grip this bow more firmly, and I'm just calling it a positive grip, and uh, I'm finding that it's working quite well. Uh, it's a matter of you know, holding that tip on and letting everything else come in behind. Okay, that's basically it. Uh, I will adjust with my elbow by rotation, but just basically let everything fall in behind the point. So that's the point. Get the point on there. But uh, yeah, uh, a firmer grip uh, uh, I'm, I'm finding today is working very, very well. So anyhow, when you do that and practice for a while, you'll get some... some hits and you'll be able to have some red fox on your fur hat in the wintertime. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs>